police had so far been refused permission to see the documents, which they believed could lead them to the body of one of Brady's victims, 12-year-old Keith Bent. The Home Secretary is to bring in a new police, crime, sentencing and courts bill which would force the killer's solicitor to grant police access to briefcases left by them. The monster, who died in May 2017, was jailed in 1966 alongside his twisted girlfriend Myra Hint. The pair murdered five children between 1963 and 1965. Brady's Samsonite briefcases were being held in secure storage by his solicitor and executor of his will, Robin. But Ms. Patel wants to introduce measures allowing detectives to obtain a warrant for material that could reveal the location of Little Keith's remains, the Daily Mail reports. The briefcases were considered particularly significant because the original 1965 investigation discovered that the killer had stashed sick mementos of his crimes in the These had been located at a Manchester railway station's left luggage office. The Home Secretary reportedly met with Keith Bennett's younger brother Alan, who was now 64, this week to discuss. He also believed Brady's paperwork could contain vital clues about his brother's closure for family killer Brady refused to ever reveal where Keith's body was but it was revealed he told a mental health worker he had left clues for police to find. He claims to have left a trowel in a stream near the burial site, but died before his secret could ever. However, the twisted killer kept notes, maps and pictures of Saddleworth Moore in his secret collection which were believed to be linked to Keith's grave. Alan Bennett has long believed Brady's paperwork may contain vital clues about where his brother was. Keith's story will be known to many, but what may not be known is the struggle which our family has gone through to try to seek closure. He said the bill is large and wide-ranging and will change the laws in a major way regarding police investigation. He hoped there would be no cold-hearted opposition to the legal changes. Police had initially met a roadblock in accessing the cases the day after Brady's death when a district judge refused them on the basis there was no prospect of an investigation leading to a prosecution. Patel's new bill would allow a warrant to be granted if there was a chance it could lead to the detection of human remains, even if outside of criminal. The move would close a legislative gap, a home office source said. A source said, Preeti is determined to give police the powers they need to access all available evidence and hopefully bring some closure to families in case while the new law appeared to be tailored to the circumstances surrounding the Brady briefcases, it could also assist in the bill was expected to be published within weeks. A post-mortem revealed that his official cause of death was corpomenale and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. See, in a final insult to Keith Bennett's family, he reportedly refused to show any remorse for his crimes hours before Brady's own lawyer Robin Mackin revealed he would be very surprised if the killer left any useful information about where Keith's body was, telling Radio 4, he did go to the moors a long time ago.